So I wanted to make a video for you guys and I asked myself what would be like the coolest, most personal thing I could give you that would really make a big big difference on your life. But then I asked what do you care about? What would be something that would completely change your life and give you so much value that you'd feel forced to tell all your friends about this channel? So the topic is what are the steps that you can do today like a like a step-by-step -step game plan to making a huge difference in everything that you do whether it be relationships career or just your well-being your wisdom your intelligence how to like maximize everything and as quickly and as practically as possible so let's begin with step one step one must be related to introspection because some people say that the first thing you need to do is to start taking more action and that might be true but in many cases you're not yet focused and you don't even have the motivation to take action yet so what can you actually do right now to massively improve your life in the shortest amount of time possible with the simplest amount like the least amount of effort required so far, have you been tracking your days every day and really just sitting down and asking yourself, how did you do? How was your day? Was something good? Was What, what was not good about it? Uh, how well did you go by your values? And most people don't do that. When I say most people, I mean pretty much 99.9% .9 of the population doesn't do that. Even people who are so-called like high performers or people in self-development they don't actually sit and do it and this one tiny habit is actually a huge catalyst for everything because you won't get motivation unless you have the awareness so for example let's say that it comes to your attention that everybody in your neighborhood actually makes four thousand dollars well you only make two thousand dollars a month well now you're going to feel really really disgruntled so you can either become a victim or you can say, I'm going to see what they're doing and I'm going to try to do the same. So daily reports, actually sitting down and asking yourself specific questions. When you do realize how you've been doing, then you actually have the opportunity to change, to improve, to refine, to even just uh, enhance what's already working. But if you don't have that, if you don't have that awareness, it's very hard for you to actually move forward so I know a lot of people that the only thing that's stopping them is the fact that they're not really aware of their situation I would even say that that's most people most people fall because they don't even know that there's a problem then some people fall because they know there's a problem they don't know how to solve it it always comes back to awareness to actually knowing where you are what's real what's actually working and you can read about that more in a book by a guy named Ray Dalio who's considered the best hedge fund manager of all time I think about 250 billion dollars so he wrote a book called principles it's a pretty short book it's really awesome but the summary like the, the part where he's like okay just if you do just the one this one thing then the whole book is redundant that one thing was his inclination to always go back to look at truth so no matter what he wanted to to be as close to how reality actually is as possible so that means understanding patterns and understanding people and extent and understanding the truth of every situation and understanding the different laws that actually make things happen most people sadly don't actually think in those terms so they just kind of go through reality and they don't even think about it by sitting down and actually writing your daily report you're confronting truth which is very uncomfortable but there's nothing that will move you faster to, towards your goal than seeing where you are where you want to be what you're doing that that's leading you there what what you're doing that is moving you away from it and on and on and on so that's basically step one of how to actually change your life immediately. Like what's the first thing you need to do to completely, like radically change everything about your life. Now if you have actually troubles in implementing this, like the, the actual habit of 
every night before bed, opening up that daily reports te- template, creating a new daily report, and just filling in the details, I would recommend either the habits approach or the commitment approach. So the habits approach means that you do it in a way where you uh, keep the daily report small enough so that when it's time to do it, you'll actually do it. And I've played with this for many, many years now. If the daily report is too complicated, you know, you'll do it one day, two days, three days, four days, and then then one day you're just too tired to do it. You just don't want to do it. It's too much work and you're just not going to do it. So keep only a few specific questions and that's it. The other way, again, is make a decision. For example, I'm going to do it every night and then tell a good friend of yours, look, I'm going to have to send you a daily report every day. If I failed to do it, if I didn't send you a daily report today, then I owe you uh, $200. And that way, because you're committed, you actually have something to lose. It doesn't matter if you you know you feel lazy, you feel tired, you don't you're not in the mood. You're gonna do it because you don't want to lose two hundred dollars. So basically, your excuses just fly out the window. That's step one for you of how to actually change your life. Now step two. Step two is to completely change your surroundings and who you associate with. Make a list of every single person that you know that's in your life currently and put next to that person just one question. Is that person leading me towards my goals or is that person not leading me towards my goals? Because even if you have a friend that that's not really pushing you towards your goals, you know, it doesn't have to be financial goals. It might look like, oh, it's harmless, you know, why not? But the, the law in life is that what doesn't go up has to go down eventually. So it's like a muddy slide. So I would, I would consider, highly consider ditching that person. Now, make a list of where can you find people who are similar to you. So they're both going to the same direction. Some of them are already there. You want to have a more happy life? Where can I find happy people? You want to have a more funny life? Uh, where can I find funny people? Where can I find people to do Amazon? And the first place I would actually go is Facebook uh, groups like conglomerations. Sorry, I don't know that word specifically, but like a lot of people grouping together in one specific place. And when you find that sort of place, you want to be very, very active and really share with people where you are in your journey, um, what you hope to achieve, and then start associating with these people, these people start talking to them, again, from various groups. And eventually, some people will start finding you. So it's actually, you're going to start being building connections. You're going to start seeing the same faces again and again, people that you really connect with. And you want to talk to these people and get them to be your friends. So actually start having chats with them, like private chats. And eventually, you want to go on Skype calls with them and your shared interests will lead to you people, you know, coming together and having people who are going after the same things that you're going is insane. Like it's it's one of the biggest boosts to thinking and motivation that you can possibly have. It's going to help you stay on track and it's going to make your progress automatic. So when you're in the gym and you don't have any friends in the gym, then it's really easy to stop going to the gym. (laughs) But when you're in the gym and you have two, three friends that work out every day and they expect you to be like them, well, it's really, really hard to not be like that. It's actually easier to be like them because of the social pressure, which is actually a good thing in this case. So the second tip is to do whatever it takes to change your environment, remove people that are not pushing you forward, and add people that will push you forward. Again, the internet is your friend. You don't need to meet people in real life today. You can talk to them on Skype. It's not different, by the way. And I'm talking with hundreds, maybe thousands of hours of coaching experience. When you coach people or talk to people on the phone or when you talk to them through video, which is even better, the I'd say like 90% of the interaction 
is uh, you know the value from an interaction remains the only difference is you can't touch and really it's not really a bad thing i guess if it's just for friendships you're not really losing too much so use the internet you know get friends there's so many people there's so many communities of people that look for the exact same things and as you but you just have to join these groups be active and find the really standout people that you connect to and relate to and that's gonna with the daily habits uh daily report habit that's gonna push you even further further so if you just do these two things you're gonna completely change your life like everything about the way you live right now is gonna look different because right now probably it doesn't feel automatic to see yourself moving forward but if you just do those two things it will be like on autopilot so now I've got one more tip for you, the third tip of how to change your life massively. Let's get into it right now. The third tip, which is the best tip out of the three to completely changing your life, is to go on a coaching call with Robbie Frank. Now, why am I saying that? The reason going on a coaching call with me is so critical is because I offer at the moment completely free first coaching calls, uh, meaning I sit with you for an hour, an hour and a half, and I break down with you exactly where you're fucking up. So what in your thinking, in your behavior, is causing you to not get to your goals? And I have this skill in coaching where the people that relate to me, the people that really find a good connection with me, I almost 100% of the time have an incredible coaching call with them that completely changes their life. And this is a risk-free opportunity, obviously, because you're going to talk to me for free. But you're going to get the value because I know how to push you, how to get you committed Uh, regardless of the fact that you have not yet invested any money. So this is a big opportunity. You should try it right now. In the link below, you can find the link to go on a coaching call with me. This opportunity won't be forever, obviously, because I'm getting more and more coaching call um, scheduling. And, you know, who knows? Maybe it will go down in a week or so. But right now it's up. And while it's up, I highly recommend that you try it. And I hope to see you on a coaching call. I hope this video really helped you. And please let me know if you have any questions. So talk to you soon. And I'll see you in the comments.